Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you in good spirits and in good health. Things are pretty good for me today. Today's question for the cards is, Lady Justice got a date for, with Roger Stone anytime soon? This is a viewer question that came in wanting to know like kind of what's on the radar for Roger Stone of the Stop the Steal fame. And to the best of my knowledge, from what I've been able to figure out, he's not been indicted for anything. And there's certainly a laundry list of stuff that he could be on the hook for. Just to catch everybody up here, who we're dealing with here is Roger Stone's a Republican strategist. He's a political consultant. I think he consulted with one of the provincial parties in Ontario during their last election. And he's an author. He's often described as a self-confessed political dirty trickster. He's from the Nixon era. He was a part of the, you know, create the commission or committee to reelect the president. And so part of the Watergate gang. Longtime advisor to Donald Trump. And is well noted for kind of his flamboyance of his different campaign stunts that he's done and media and shenanigans, including which is documentary in which he is supposedly recorded, allegedly, allegedly recorded, talking to a New York police officer about arranging for the assassination of Eric Fowell, a congressman who apparently needed to be killed, obviously, and thank God this never happened. In 2019, Stone was indicted by Robert Mueller special counsel investigating the Russian election interference and links between Trump and Moscow, which there were plenty. He was sentenced to 40 months in jail, but never actually went to jail because in December of 2020, in the midst of Trump's attempt to overthrow the election, Trump granted Roger Stone clemency. So that's how he avoided jail. Now, I mean, we have document, a documentary filmmaker recorded like some of the stuff that he's going on about this false elector stuff. And he's just as brash as brash can friggin' be. Like, it's amazing. It w and it was all publicized on Airy uh, show, The Beat, on MSNBC. So this is not really done in secret, if you know what I'm saying. But arrogance defines this lot, does it not? So my question is, for the cards, is Lady Justice coming for Roger Stone? Or is he going to squeal up from underneath this? Back in the saddle, our good old workhorse, One World Tarot, Rena Rodriguez, and Sienna Rose. It's needed a bit of a break. It's been hard on it. Been hard on it the last few months. Just doing our standard Celtic class, like we always do. And our first card up is the Hermit, and it is in a reverse position. The Hermit, when it's reversed, certainly from a political perspective, is about corruption. It can be about loneliness and isolation and that sort of stuff. But the first thing I think of, top of drawer, Hermit reverse, corruption. Well, we're dealing with Roger Stone, are we not? This is crossed by the Seven of Pentacles in a reverse position. And this is about a lack of planning. Somebody does not have Plan B worked out. And if you listen to and if you watch that documentary or anything else, like, you know, this guy is just, he's got the blinders on and it's go. In the past, we have the Ace of Cups. This indicates that there's like a deep, deep emotional reason that's motivating them behind this. It's like there's a profound emotional connection. It kind of makes them impervious to, you know, rational, intellectual. And it's always struck me with this mega thing and like how are they come because it has it's gone from being a political movement or into into a cult right and how has this happened and this has got to do with this deep emotional that's why you can't reason people out of it you can't say well this 
You can fact check them until the cows come home and it doesn't make an impact because this is an emotional reaction that's happening. And that's what we're up against. In the future, we have the Eight of Pentacles and it is a reverse position. Now this is a, a card that tells us that we need to pick up our socks. We need to improve our game and that we're doing kind of shoddy work. America, I'm telling you right now, batten the friggin' hatches. Because even if the Democrats win and Joe Biden wins the next election, it is not, the mega cult is not going to vaporize overnight. There will be a decline in its popularity. And like 10 years from now, you'll not meet anybody who will admit that they voted mega. But until we get there, there is going to be this constant urge to kind of self-improve the brand. And it exists, unfortunately, without Trump, right? So it is going to continue to be corrosive in American society in the future. In the sky of the reading, you know, this is the overarching energy. This is kind of the goals or aspirations that we have. And we have the nine of wands. Now this is a card about perseverance. These people do not give up easily. This is what I'm telling you. They have enormous resilience and they are in some respects running scared because they know that what they're selling, the authoritarianism, the anti-women, the anti-gay, the racism, that isn't being bought wholesale by the American public. And so we've had it where for a few elections now where really the only way they've been able to get elected is through dirty tricks, things like voter suppression and gerrymandering and all that sort of stuff because the American people aren't really on board with what they're trying to do as we've seen so clearly with the whole abortion debacle. But they need to keep persevering because they know that these the days for them to turn the United States into something other than a democratic republic are closing and they have to work now. And so they're working with great determination because they have to. The gate is closing and it's exhausting all the rest of us. Really, it is. And I can appreciate anybody who has just said, oh, I can't listen anymore. I can't listen anymore. I can't follow the news. I can't listen to another, another broadcast. This is going to make me crazy. Yeah, that is the whole point. That's why you're being flooded with so much nonsense is to just absolutely exhaust you to the point where your critical thinking doesn't work anymore. In the foundation of the reading, we have strength. Now, this is about, you know, a will of character. This is about being very confident. And God knows, Roger Stone is confident. He is very disciplined in his own self-control. He is, he is a very powerful man. He has a lot of connections. He's got a lot of connections with kind of shadowy underworld people like, you know, the Oath Keepers and the Proud Boys and all the rest of that. He is tapped into that network very, very, very well. And he has no problems with using it. And he is singular minded as we brought it up in the first part of the reading. So this is what he's, you know, his go button is go on this subject. Message from Spirit the moon. Raja, you're living in a world of illusion. This card is about the subconscious and secrets and deceptions and dreams and uncertainty and that sort of stuff. And you know how things when they're seen in the moonlight look very different than they do in the daylight. And this is where these people are, are deluding themselves. Right? Because they have tapped into their subconscious. They are very much living in a universe of fear and 
scarcity and that is bubbling out that's what we're dealing with they do not they do not live in a world where there's plenty for everybody it's i have to take as much as i can i have to prevent you from getting anything because if you get something it's less for me that's the mentality that you're dealing with in the environment we have the world card the world card is almost the opposite of that it is the sense of completion it's the end of one cycle and the start of another and it's kind of that gap in between the two of them this speaks about wholeness the possibility of equality and connectedness coming together so what the world wants and what roger stone and his acolytes want are diametrically opposed to one another and this is going to be very heady energy up to and including the election and i would say we can probably start expecting some some bit of uh, argy bargy coming up after the election because i think that there's an air of desperation starting to sink in fears we have the queen of wands queen of wands very confident if you listen to anything that roger stone has talked about he speaks with confidence he has a kind of very creative mind he's come up with some amazing stuff he's very char charismatic he's very sociable always dresses well that sort of stuff always has the big scar mr the top of the pass and the queen of wands what she's most famous for is her ability to inspire others to great action and he very much can do this so you know it's his hope that you know this queen of wands energy inspires other people to follow along with the stop the steal lie and it is my fear that someone like him can be successful i mean once again it is this cult of personality that we're dealing with and it goes back to that ace of cups in the past this is an emotional connection it is not an intellectual proposition final outcome to the question is he got his date with lady justice anytime soon six of swords this is card about transition and moving on into calmer waters being released i don't think he's going to i don't i don't think i mean so far he's unindicted he's been mentioned i think a couple of times as uh, or suspected of being an unindicted co-conspirator on some of the various things that are going on with the fake electors campaign but holy hell who knows but i don't think so at the energy that's sitting right now i don't think roger stone is going to see his day in court may i be wrong may i be wrong and shadow card on this reading we have the five of wands in a reverse position that kind of underlies what i just said because the five of wands when it is reversed is about agreements and truces and peace being escalated that exhaustion that came out of the nine of wands in the sky i think we're getting to a point or we'll be getting to a point where people are just so exhausted from this that there's just not the appetite to continue to bring these men to justice and i think they might consider a pause or a long break or something once they manage to deal with trump and some of the ones that are currently in the hopper right now but I can't see this going on and on and on because there just isn't the stomach for it. And that's kind of how I see it. So, that's the reading for today and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.